Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Just Fish Live Outdoors. Uh, we got a pretty good show for you tonight. We're going to talk to uh, uh, Dave Clark of Fish on Guide Service to see what he's been up to tonight. Uh, got some good reports coming in from Lake Fork. Uh, got a report coming in from Keystone as well as Sky Took. Uh, we're just going to talk about fishing in general. It's been a little rough around here this week. Had a lot of rain last week, and uh, many, many of the lakes are, uh, are really high, and the rivers, uh, the discharge coming out of the lakes are really high. So uh, those of you who are getting ready to get on the water this weekend, uh, you really need to pay attention. Uh, watch for floating debris and other things that uh, may be going up and down the lake uh, because there's going to be a lot of debris in the water. And, uh, you know, look around, uh, maybe... Drive over to the lake maybe a day or two before you go to check out the boat ramps, see what uh, that particular thing looks like, uh, because I, it wouldn't surprise me if many of the boat ramps uh, aren't uh, getting really close to, uh, uh, you know, full or, or not being accessible. So, uh, you know, really pay attention to that as well. Well, we got Dave Clark coming up of Fish on Guide Service, and uh, let's see what Dave has to say. Hello, this is David Clark, Fish On Guide Service, weekly report, fishing report for Northeast Oklahoma. Uh, I was out of town this whole last week, but I did get some reports, some of them good, some of them bad. Uh, below the dam still, they're still catching some pretty nice strippers when they're releasing water, and I think they're releasing a lot right now with all the rain we've had around here, uh, but they are catching some nice strippers. I didn't see any fishing reports for Keystone Lake at all, so I'm not sure uh, nobody's going or I just didn't get caught up on those. I didn't see them. Sooner Lake, I've missed the last couple of weeks. Uh, nobody that I know has been fishing over there, but I would think uh, just like before during the winter time, if they're generating, there's guys walking in and doing pretty good up there at the walk-in when you walk in on the, the hybrid trappers and even some real nice catfish up there too. Uh, Sky Took Lake, there's some uh, decent reports of some hybrid strippers coming out of there up in the shallows. Uh, guys are casting uh, plastic baits up in there. I haven't seen where anybody took live bait up there. Sky Took Lake water temperature is right around 48, 49 degrees. That may vary just a little bit here. We've still got a little bit more winter to go. But there are some uh, decent hybrid strippers being caught, some a lot of sand bass being caught there, and some crappie being caught up there also. Um, around 15 to 30 foot on drop-offs on jigs and minnows on both ends of the lake, north and south end of the lake. Bula Gaw Lake, I uh, went by there yesterday just to see what the water level is. I have some uh, spoonbill trips coming up. Uh, the water level looked about one foot high. It's a little bit murky, but overall it wasn't in bad condition. There was a lot of boats at the ramp. looked like a lot of guys crappie fishing. The run report I did get on crappie fishing was real good. Uh, the guys catching a lot of good, nice crappies, same as before, following the bait balls around. And then some guys also are still sticking to the brush piles, finding some around the brush piles. The catfishing on Ula guys slowed down some, uh, but the spoonbill's going pretty good up there also uh, around in the channels. Water temperature on Ula guys is about 47 degrees. See where Rusty Preacher's still catching some nice spoonbill up on Gibson. And I went on over to, uh, I mean, Rusty's up on Grand. I went over to Gibson yesterday, looked around. Most of the boat ramps are flooded over there. Looks like it's about oh, 11, 12 foot high, looking at the report, Corps of Engineering report and stuff. Boat ramps are pretty well flooded. You could, you could launch your boat, uh, but you're going to get your feet wet if you're by yourself or even when you go back, somebody helping you out, you're, somebody's going to get their feet wet. But you can launch a boat. If you go over there, be real careful. There's a lot of debris coming down the river. A lot of logs floating and everything. A uh, guy that I met there at the ramp yesterday ended up doing pretty good on Spoonbill. Uh, some pretty nice ones being caught. And the water temperature over there is about the same as it is everywhere else, around 47, 48 degrees. Spoonbills are kicking in gear here in another week or two. Uh, I'm gearing up for some nice spoon, some Spoonbill trips, either go to Uligal or over on Fort Gibson. Uh, they seem to be a little bit bigger on Gibson, but there's some real nice ones up on Uligal also. Larry caught some. 50 pluses up there last weekend. Anyway, this is David Clark, Fish on Guide Service. You can contact me on my website or on my Facebook page, or you can call me on 918-724-6786. Fish on. Thanks, Dave, for that report. Uh, folks, you know, uh, once again, I really want to iterate, uh, you know, with all the high water we're experiencing around the area in this particular time, 
uh, really be very, very careful when you're navigating any of the water systems, uh, uh, whether it be lake or the rivers, uh, because we're going to see a lot of debris floating around and, and, uh, you know, it can really cause you some, <laughs> really cause you some problems, uh, especially, uh, you know, it can ding that high dollar prop and, uh, uh, cost you be out some money. So be very, very careful when you're out floating around, uh, and out running around and uh, make sure that uh, you know you, you know where you're going and what's ahead of you uh, so you don't run into a situation where uh, uh, you know you're, you're, you're really going to tear up some stuff uh, like I said I got some reports uh, coming in uh, I had a real good friend uh, matter of fact I had a, a Lake Fork trip that was planned for this actually leaving today but uh you know they've had uh, seven eight inches of rain down there in the lake fork watershed around the sabine river authority and uh it, it's really coming up uh most of the uh, water above uh, the 515 bridges is muddy it's coming downstream because they're releasing water uh the fishing's pretty tough right now uh, down there from what i understand uh I've talked to a couple of, of friends that I know down there that are guides, and uh, they're just not uh, boating very many fish at all. So, uh, you know, if you got plans to go down there in the not too distant future, uh, <laughs> you know, you may want to back up and punt. <laughs> I know I certainly did, and uh, you know, I'm I'm a 30 year veteran of that lake, so uh, uh, it, it can be a, a little tough this time of year when you get the combination of cold water temps along with high water. And, and the water falling because, uh, you know, it's just not a good condition down there at this particular time. But stay in touch with people down there. Uh, you know, uh, give Chris a, hoss, a call down at the Burning Stump. He can give you information uh, as well as uh, what's going on down there currently. And, uh, you know, I highly recommend getting a hold of him. Uh, got some sun coming through the window there. It's not really helping us much. But uh, anyway, that does it for Lake Fork. Uh, had some reports about uh, Keystone Lake. Uh, Keystone's not too bad at this particular time, but it is coming up. Uh, most of the stuff uh, south of uh, Cimarron, uh, Arkansas, convergence down there around Salt Creek is still fairly clear. Uh, they are catching a little bit of everything down in that particular area. Uh, most of the fish uh, that, that I know about catching are, are down in that area. You get much above... Uh, uh, much above that convergence there and uh, it starts muddying up pretty quick and I really assume that it's it's going to get pretty muddy here in the next coming few days especially as much water as they're generating out of the lake uh, that mud line will follow the lake pretty quick so uh, you may want to go up and look at that as well uh, this weekend before boating that as well uh, once again you know we'll have uh, floating debris in that lake and uh, it, it can really be nasty sometimes so be careful about that as well uh, they are as as dave said i i do have a couple reports coming out of sky took they are catching some hybrids up shallow mainly on the windy banks early in the morning real late in the evening uh, you know most of that activity from what i understand is uh, south of 20 bridge uh, they're throwing, you know, two, three, four inch swim baits. And, uh, sometimes they're, you know, they're doing pretty good. Uh, of course that activity is getting ready to kick off big time, uh, in the next month up there, you know, April historically is, uh, is one of the prime months up there. April and May is, is hard to beat as far as catching hybrids. Uh, once again, uh, you know, if you're looking at uh, booking a hybrid trip or going up there to fish, uh, give Steve Carroll a weekend duty if, a call or you know dave clark fish on guide service both of those are uh have the just fish outdoor stamp of approval there they go those guys work really really hard for you uh talk about just a little bit uh we're you know we're getting ready to roll out the lawrence academy uh it's going to be a classroom instructional area uh that uh, will provide uh, instructions on operation setup of uh, lawrence equipment Steve Carroll and myself are getting ready to launch that. It's it's coming out pretty quick, so keep your eyes open on uh, social media as well as uh, YouTube and other outlets for uh, uh, a schedule that'll be coming out not too distant future. 
about those particular classes. Uh, we're really looking forward to offering those. It is uh, something that's really, really needed, and uh, we're really designing this class to really help people out. So, uh, you know, keep your ears open for that and your eyes as well because uh, Lawrence Academy is coming to a uh, area near you <laughs> in the not too distant future. So, uh, you know, keep your eyes on that as well. Uh, a- another thing I'll point out to you, uh, Lawrence is getting ready to, re- to release uh, what I think is is just the most influential software release that they've done in several years. Uh, it, it's called Fish Reveal. Let's take a look at it here. Uh, and, and what it does is it actually combines uh, two different sonars. It actually combines the images that you normally see on your 2D sonar in your chirp type situations uh, and uh, puts it into a downscan type image. And uh, as you can see, you know, you get highly contrasting colors between uh, the fish IDs and uh, the, the surrounding area, regardless of what palette you choose. Uh, in, in my humble opinion, folks, this is just going to be the cat's meow for being able to pick out fish from surrounding color uh, cover and even surrounding that are fish that are hovering very close to the bottom uh you know it's it's going to be scheduled to be released here here sometime in march you folks uh, that have the gen 3s have the gen 3 carbons or even have the elite ti's are going to be able to take advantage of this absolutely amazing technology uh it, it is really really going to be revolutionary it's called fish reveal this particular aspect of it is, and it, it's it's really going to make a huge difference in the way we're able to look at sonar. So uh, keep your eyes open for that. Uh, you know, it, it's coming out sometime in March, uh, and it is really, really an awesome, awesome software upgrade. Once again, that's all it is, is a software upgrade. There's, there's no hardware to buy, nothing else. If you have a Carbon, a Gen 3, or an Elite Ti, you're going to be able to take advantage of this software. It is absolutely amazing. And, you know, we're really looking forward to the initial release. Some of us that's been able to run this software in the beta version uh, are, are just totally amazed at it. And uh, I know for you folks that, that, that can take advantage of this software release, uh, you're going to be as absolutely amazed as <laughs> some of us pro staff were running this. So uh, anyway... Uh, look, look, keep an eye open for this because it's coming out in the very near future. Uh, it's going to be released this month in March. And uh, like I said, it's, it's only a software update, but it's absolutely going to be awesome. So keep your eyes open on this. Uh, that'll just about do it for this week's Just Fish Outdoors. Uh, like I said, folks, keep your eyes and ears open for Lawrence Academy that's, uh, getting ready to be launched by Steve Carroll and myself in the very near future, as well as uh, keep your eyes and ears open for this uh, new software update that's getting ready to be released this month. You know, and uh, one of the features that it has is called Fish Reveal, and it, it, it does exactly that, as you can see from the picture here. It is absolutely awesome, awesome stuff. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop me a line just fish outdoors at justfish.com you can also catch me on facebook also catch me through youtube and uh, you know anything we can help with we certainly will if you want to get in touch with me to find out more information about lawrence academy and and schedules and where it's coming to uh, uh, feel free to drop me a line and i'll certainly get back with you but uh, that'll just about do it for this week's show so this is dale york for just fish outdoors saying We'll catch you later.